Hi everyone, it's Paul here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your very own battery, whether for in case of an emergency, because you want to make your own power supplies or just because you can. So let's go. So first we're going to need zinc penny washers, paper cut and punctured so it looks like the penny washers and some copper washers too. I should point out because I live in England and England has a view on personal freedom similar to communist China that my copper washers are exactly that and not copper pennies. But while you debate amongst yourselves how a person can accumulate wealth when he doesn't even own the money in his pocket, I'm going to carry on with this video. We're going to stack our washers by first placing our copper washer, then the paper, and finally the zinc washer. This sandwich is what makes up the cell of our battery and will provide us with our power. To increase the output of the battery, we're going to stack these cells on top of each other. As you may notice, we don't include paper between new cells. For these battery cells to work, we're going to need an electrolyte. For this, I'm using tap water and household salt. Simply pop your paper washers into the solution to allow them to absorb the electrolyte. Then place them on some kitchen towel or something similar to dry off the excess. You want the paper washers to be damp but not dripping wet. As you can now see that just one of our cells produces 0 0.7 volts. Now onto the body of our battery and I'm using these plumbing fittings. It's just a coupling and two caps either end that you can screw on and off. If you want to make a larger battery you could add another coupling and a length of pipe. When we unscrew the top of our battery you can notice a rubber washer and I'll use that as a guide to position our battery terminals. For the terminals I'm using two bolts. Drill two holes for the bolts and screw them into place. This should make them cut a thread into the cap. Then unscrew them as we're going to make our battery connectors. For this you're going to need male and female spade connectors and some ring connectors too. The female spade and ring connector, sometimes called eye connectors, are crushed onto the stripped ends of two lengths of insulated wire. I've cut these roughly the length of the battery to allow me some play when making batteries with different numbers of cells, besides there's plenty of room inside the battery itself. These wire connectors are attached to our bolt terminals which we screw through the cap and secure in place with some nuts. The male spade connectors are broken down and soldered onto some nuts, allowing us to connect to our battery cells later. Now taking a threaded nylon rod we're going to make our battery cell shish kebab. First place our connecting nut on the rod. Then we can start stacking the cells as shown previously and ensuring our paper washers are damp with electrolyte. When you've stacked all your cells together, in my case 10, then add the other connector nut to lock things into place. We put the whole thing together and it's complete. You could seal the battery with solvent weld or glue to make it water and airtight, but I'm not going to as this is just a demonstration. The great thing about this design is that you can use it over and over again in your projects and experiments. You could easily make it bigger as mentioned previously or move one of the terminals to the base instead of them both coming out the same side. You can even swap what you make the cells out of to get different results. Just don't forget to share with me what you find out. Even if you don't build a battery you can use the fittings I've shown you to make an air and water tight container for all kind of things from survival kits to camping or even geocaching. So in effect this was two videos in one. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to share a link to it on your favourite sites and forums with other like minded people. If this video does well enough then I'll show you how you can get results like this by just changing one of the ingredients. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I upload a new video every Saturday. That's it from me for now and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.